Hello. In this video, we're going to be working with YOLO V5 and using it in the cloud with a free GPU. And the GPU we're going to be using in Google Collab today is the Tesla T4. And what this will allow you to do is it will let you train models a lot faster and it will let you use YOLO much quicker than if you were running it just with a normal CPU. So with that said, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. So first thing you want to do is go to Chrome, type in Collab, as we'll be using Google Collab, and click on this link. And you want to create a new notebook. This will take a second. All right. And let's rename it to something. In this case, we can name it to YOLO V5 Test. Okay. And the first thing we, we're going to type in as we're going to be creating this from scratch is we want to mount our Google Collab. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to mount is our Google Drive. And we need that so that we can use our GPU. All right. So from Google.Collab import drive and here we're going to mount our drive in a second and then we also want to type in drive dot mount and we also want to put in quotes here and we want to put in slash content another slash and then we want to put g drive Also, one thing to note is if you want to use your GPU, all you need to do, or the server GPU, all you need to do is click on runtime, and then you want to go to change runtime type, make sure it's set to GPU, press save. Also, you want to make sure you connect. Alright, now we're connected. Should be able to run this, and you should press Shift Enter like in the Jupyter notebook. And here we need to click here. And we need to press Allow, and copy this code by clicking this button. So now we can paste it. Control V, and press Enter. Alright, and then once it says mounted at slash content slash G drive, you're set. So the next thing we're going to type is we want to check on which graphics card we have. So here we can just put an exclamation mark, NVIDIA dash SMI. Alright, and here we have a Tesla P100. So sometimes it'll give you a T4 or a P100, so it kind of depends. All right, so now after we have this, we need to download the GitHub repo for YOLO V5. And to do that, all we need to do is type git clone, and then I also have the link over here, so I can just copy it, and I'll leave this in the description for you to copy and paste it in here and then we need to also install our dependencies and packages so we can do that by typing in pip install dash r then yolo v5 slash requirements dot txt right. bad typo right here also it has to be requirements not requirement there you go all right oh right, there was an extra txt here Oh, 
Okay, and once we've installed that, if you check the files right here, you can see we have the YOLO V5. And in that, we're going to have the weights, as well as some models here. But for now, we need to change our directory to YOLO V5, to the folder at least. So we do that by putting percent and then CD YOLO V5. And just shift enter. All right, once it shows that, we're set. And now we also need to import our test video from our downloads, which I'll also leave a link to, so you can just download it and have it ready to go. So we want to type in from Google dot collab alright and then we want to do import files files and under that we want to put uploaded equal to files dot upload alright so now we get to choose our files and I have a test video right here for now, I'm just going to rename it to test. Click on that and press open. And it should take a little bit to upload this as it's kind of a big file. Okay, so once it's done, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually run the code so that we can detect the objects in the video. To do that, all we need to do is type in exclamation mark python detect dot py which is the script and then we want to put slash slash source so that it knows which video to detect from and we named it test dot mp4 alright and we just run it and so if you give it one second you can see here it's using CUDA to actually run it with the Tesla P100 so it's actually utilizing the GPU's power and in one second you can see how fast it runs it does quite a bit of frames per second and you can see here what it's detecting and it'll export a video which we can download and view the actual detections alright so once it's done you can see that it saved it in the inference output folder and it took around 250 seconds which is actually really fast considering it was a four minute video so it's almost real time at this point so what you want to do is go to inference go to output and you can see it's right here so you want to click the three dots and click download and this might take a bit Okay, so after the video has, done, has been installed, all you need to do to check it is go to your downloads folder and it will be called test1 if you need just test. And then you just double click on it and uh, there you go. You can see it's detecting everyone and it's really smooth. And here you can see when it passes by some people, it'll track them very well. You can see here the cars, some people in the background even pretty far away as well which is pretty impressive now you'll see when they get closer it tracks them really smooth compared to YOLO v3 this is way better if you check out my other video it was way more choppy and so you can see it's tracking people over here over here as well so yeah, it's pretty good overall you can see it's tracking this guy right here in the background as well and you can even tell about the potted plants so yeah that's pretty much it so I'll leave a link in the description below where you can uh, download the shared notebook and if you don't want to code it yourself or if you want to download the video or anything like that and yeah make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching